Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in this video, I want to show you guys an amazing place to make a little bit of extra cash with the newly out of beta Red Dead Online experience. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. We're pretty close to where we're where we actually need to be at, and we're kind of down by Thieves Landing. Now this spot has been shown before on my channel. And I'm kind of in the process of just checking out new things. Honestly, I'm just roaming the map with friends. Just seeing what is truly out there to see what we can make some more money. I'm enjoying the free roam events that are currently out there, which are a lot of fun. You get a little bit of cash, but you get a lot more experience points from it. And they're just something that's a little bit more unique and exciting and entertaining. So I do want to showcase those in another video. So definitely stay tuned for that. But we're at the spot that we want to be at. And in this location, you guys are going to be able to get steelhead trout. And you're also going to be able to get um, large mouth bass. So I actually started out from that direction for a very specific reason. Because if you guys come from Thieves Landing or even Blackwater, it seems like the spawning in this area is a little off. Because you kind of cross the water in a couple different locations. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your fishing rod. Uh, if you guys are a very low level, you're going to need to get one as soon as possible. It's one of the best investments that you guys can go ahead and purchase in Red Dead Online. And then what you want to make sure that you guys get is the special river lure as soon as you possibly can. Now, I believe you can get this pretty early, uh, but you can spend like four gold bars on it. The nice thing that's that I like about the special lake or river lures is that you never lose them so if they break you don't ever have to pay for them or buy them back or whatever so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that we have a lot of different fish in here you can see we got the trout and we also have the bass which is beautiful they're all intermixed typically closer to the, to the bridge that you are there's gonna be steelhead trout right here and a little bit more this way over in this direction you're gonna have more of the large mouth of bass now obviously you can hold 10 of each Largemouth bass are $2 a fish, so that's $20. You also have a cougar spawn that's really close, so that's a little extra money. And then you have the 10 steelhead trout, which is $25. So this right here is a minimum of $45, and it only takes a little bit of time to do so. So if you guys need to know exactly where we're at on the map, I'll show you guys quickly. This is the location. And then obviously we're going to be running up to Blackwater to go ahead and sell all of our fish at the butcher i will show you guys the cougar spawn hopefully it's there on the way back uh we'll just have to find out if it's there or not when that time comes so let's go ahead and start fishing all right so we're just going to go in and throw in our special river lure right here and we got some uh, steelhead trout over in this direction and it's going to basically attract everything from that largemouth bass or the steelhead trout now obviously if we could get um, smallmouth bass in this area as well to get another two dollars per fish that would be absolutely amazing but they're not down here in this location now the best way that i like to fish is obviously just rotate as quickly as possible on that right joystick and then flick up and down on the left joystick then we're going to keep this bad boy seems like a lot of the largemouth bass are about five pounds or so that was a terrible cast by the way but that doesn't really matter. We're just going to slowly go ahead and reel this in. There's a, looks like a couple of them right here. Pretty close by. Let's go ahead and get, come on. Let's get attracted, my dudes. Oh, look at They're all just flocking in. Yes, I said flock to fish. Look at them. There's a ton of them right here. So many. I just want a big old net and I can start catching all of them. And then typically what I do is at, when I know it's about the end of them fighting, I'll go ahead and start the reel in process with that. So there you go. Just two bass. Easy peasy. Just like that. I mean, it didn't take very much time at all. Then we're just going to go ahead and give ourselves another little bit of a cast. This right there looks good because a whole bunch of them were attracted there just before Look at that. We got three steelhead trout just chilling right here. I'm hoping that they get attracted to the bait as soon as possible. I really don't care which one bites on. I'm just waiting for the, you know, the pulse of the controller to really know that it's time for me to go ahead and hook them and 
Start reeling them in there. Perfect. We got a steelhead trout that time. That's two dollars and fifty cents easy right there. So right now, basically, we've caught three fish. We're at about uh, what seven dollar or what six dollars and fifty cents already for this in this area. So this can add up pretty quickly, and it only takes a little bit of time to do this. And the nice thing that I do like about this location as well is that it is honestly a little ways away from everybody. Um, since I've been down in this area and I've been doing it a little while, is nobody, obviously, even you guys have heard that there's been nobody like running by me. You can even look at the... Um, I can put my rod away and you guys will see that on the mini map that uh, there's really nobody nearby. I, it, Thieves Landing, just for whatever reason, is not that popular of a hotspot anymore, making this a prime location or real estate area to go ahead and get all the fish that you desire. And you never honestly have to worry about, about them running out because it seems like they are more spawning than the smaller fish are just to kind of keep that in mind but for whatever reason that uh the fish aren't spawning anymore we got a daily task yep we gotta do that of course so i'm gonna go i don't wanna oh i didn't want to do that i wanted to actually go into my map here uh what you need to do is for whatever reason the steelhead and largemouth bass aren't spawning anymore don't go towards thieves landing right away like about to this location somewhere in here and then come back and then they'll all respawn right back here just like you pretty much not like you just left but it's like you were never there to begin with and then you can start the whole fishing process over again so but it seems like it's a continuous spawn. I've really have never had that many issues with this area. Uh, I used to use this spot a lot before I started using the method down in tumbleweed with the birds. Um, I mean, it depends on if you want to do fishing or if you want to do the hunting. The The nice thing about the, this fishing spot is you never have to move. You never have to really go to, to location location to get the fish they just continuously spawn for you whereas if you're in the tumbleweed area doing any type of hunting you got to move from location to location because i can you know i told you exactly where each spawn point was for each of the birds and then you could you know pick up different animals along the way if you guys want to add extra money to to that method and we're going to add a little bit of extra money to this method by collecting the cougar on the way back to blackwater so and I started this actually pretty early in the morning and I've honestly been kind of just chit chatting with you guys, you know, trying to make some extra cash. It's not like I really need it, but honestly, I want to be able to help you guys make as much money here in Red Dead Online. I have a lot of the things. Really, the only thing that I am truly missing is some of the clothing. And I really, I'm not a huge fan of that. So that's just me personally. And then uh, any of the special pamphlets I do need. I don't have hardly any of those. So I know a lot of my money could actually be gone very, very quickly if I went after and focused on the special pamphlet. So this is a great way for me to go ahead and maybe start that process because there's so many of them. There we go. We got ourselves another uh, largemouth bass right here. And honestly, yeah, I mean, it's probably going to cost like 10 grand for all the pamphlets that are out there. And some of the other things that I currently don't have, but that's really about it. I've, I have most of the, I pretty much have all of the, um, ability cards, at least at the, the middle of the three, as far as like the, um, the upgrades for those. So I, I really don't need a lot of stuff here in Red Dead Online. So and I kind of want you guys to be able to get to that point too. You know, I want you guys to be able to make the money that you guys want to be able to make here in Red Dead Online and then not really have to worry about it. And then as new things are added, because even in the newswire, there's been a lot of talk about having new things come out and limited edition clothing coming out. So that way you guys honestly just never really have to worry about, can I afford this? Is Do I have to grind more just to get more items or can I just buy what I want to buy 
and this way you just don't honestly don't have to worry about it. I mean, $45 on this is actually a pretty easy to, to do. And I'm actually going to show you guys my, my satchel here in actually just a moment. And you'll see how much and how many fish we truly actually have gotten already. So let's go and take a look at our satchel here real quick. Look at this. We already got 10 steelhead trout. We've only caught a few of the largemouth bass. That is crazy. So I don't really need any more steelhead trout. Steelhead trout makes me more money anyway. So we're already at $25 plus 8 for that. So that's, you know, $33. And we can add a little bit more by going to the cougar location. And hopefully it's actually there. So... Sometimes it's not, but sometimes it is. It usually spawns more for me on the way down to this location, but you can pick it up on either way, either there or back. And there's obviously you got some, you know, some turkeys and lots of other uh, birds and other animals in this area. So just stock up on whatever you guys want. Make some extra dough so you guys just don't really have to worry about it in the near future, especially if you guys are not PvP players because that's there's really... Besides hunting and fishing, if you're not a PvP player, it's going to be virtually impossible to make any type of money in Red Dead Online unless you're going to focus only on like treasure maps, which they can take a long time to gen generate over time. But basically what we're going to be doing here is going right towards this windmill. And we're going to see if that cougar is here. I'm going to go ahead and grab out my bolt action rifle. Look at that. We haven't even crossed another player or seen another player on my on my mini map here on my radar so i'm just gonna approach the windmill here i'm gonna go ahead and take a right and then usually it's actually sit right there and it's oh it's it is there look at that so we're just gonna get i didn't even see what uh what star rating he was it's a you know it's a good star or good um you can definitely break it down um i more likely than not usually break it down just because i like to get the big game meat so that i can use that for you know the seasonings so that i can use it for some of the pvp matches that i that i do participate in and that will give me a little bit of uh, bonuses to my health my stamina and also my my dead eye core so I think you guys kind of get the picture. I don't think I really need to show you guys how much money we made uh, at the butcher. Hopefully this does help you guys out. If you guys want to see other methods, then please feel free to leave a comment down below. I would love to be able to share some of these things that I've done since I started Red Dead Online. Since day one, when it was in the very beginning of the beta phase. Obviously day one being the beginning of the beta phase. So got lots of methods to share with you guys over time. Hopefully you guys do enjoy them. But that is all the time that I have for in today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video in any way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming. <laughs>